If Trump loses North Carolina, he's not going to win the presidency. Yeah, I thought it was okay. Pennsylvania, but North Carolina is a big key for him winning. If he drops North Carolina, because yeah. he was early look, on, yeah. yeah, he was ahead and would have won if Biden was still running. But but now it's I think in the in the uh, in it's very close. It's in play, as they. Would it's say. definitely in play for Kamala. And here's the thing that's happening in North Carolina: Trump absolutely needs North Carolina. He cannot afford to lose that state. Um, there is a Republican who's running for governor there. That guy's a pervert. Mark Robinson. I Have you Allegedly. ever heard of this guy? Allegedly. Oh, yeah, I've heard of him. Before okay. this, I've heard of some he of the crazy things he ca- said. He calls himself a black Nazi. Yeah, I wouldn't say that ever. He calls himself, he Never. said that. Yeah, that's unacceptable. He said he wanted to own slaves. Yeah, unacceptable. He's black. Yeah, I know. He can't come to the cookout, the picnic, nothing. Okay, so he's definitely losing this race. And by the way, I don't think this is an R versus And he's running for governor. Exactly. I think he's the lieutenant governor. He is the lieutenant governor. All this stuff came out. He's 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 made he's he's been on a a pornographic website that has um, uh, 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 transgendered individuals on it. Uh, and he's he's got he's, his own email and uh, on it. According and to the report from CNN, okay. this is according to CNN that he said that he liked uh, somebody using his name and mm-hmm. email address said he'd like to watch, okay, transgender I, stuff. Okay, here's the thing: if this guy is on the ticket and he's a Republican trying to run for governor and he's down twenty points, um, Republicans might stay home and say, "Listen, this this we guy got, this yeah. guy's a disaster." I don't think I'm even going to go and I'm not going to go and vote. They and talk, that means Donald yeah. Trump could this could affect Donald Trump in, in uh, North Carolina. Well, well, what they talk about is like the down ballot effect, down it's ballot like, effect. like in Arizona in 2020 was a perfect example. A lot of people were displeased with Trump in 2020. That's why he lost Arizona. Mm-hmm. And because he did, because people crossing over, it had a down ballot effect on all those other Democrats that were running, because, yeah. again, Who's the top Republican in the state? The treasurer. That's it. That's it. So this could have an up ballot effect in North Carolina because it's Trump at the top of that ballot. And if that keeps people in North Carolina staying home, yeah. and if if Kamala wins that, that's huge. That sends a, I mean, that will send a shockwave on, you know, Sunday, on, 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 on election, election night. It, it will be over. He'll lose the election if he loses North Carolina. So this guy Robinson said... That if he were in the Ku Klux Klan, he would have referred to Martin Luther King Jr. as, and then he said, a, a racial slur. Like that's unacceptable. Oh my it's, gosh. it's unacceptable for anybody to say that, of course. black or white. Yes. It's just shocking when somebody black says it. I think it's also shocking that somebody who wants to run a state actually says that. Uh, presidential essentials. But only here we are. Need to know stuff about the 2024 uh, race. Thanks for watching Outspoken with Bruce and Gatos. Tap to watch more from KTAR News and click the button in the middle to subscribe.